What made me decide to get involved was I was just embarrassed not to know anything about the union. I I got involved about a year after I was officially indeterminate um, with with the government. So I just felt embarrassed that I didn't know how it worked. And I had a friend who was on our local, so she encouraged me to come out. And from there, I found the Young Workers um, Committee. Yeah, I, I actually got started because somebody actually asked me to come to an event. Um, I wouldn't have come if nobody asked. So that was the first thing for me. When I got there, I did a quick inventory of who was in the room, and I was the youngest by far. That to me wasn't okay. Um, I wanted my voice heard and there was issues that were coming up from my office because we did have a lot, we had a lot of younger people, a lot of younger staff coming in and I wanted to be that voice for them. I just wanted to come to a place where I got to see people my own age and I found as soon as I came to my first Young Workers thing four years ago, I was completely hooked because I, I walked into a group of young educated people that were also inspiring have to come to our committee meetings if you want to get involved in uh, anything union in our office and you're a young worker because we meet regularly, we have a really good time, we've gone out to play volleyball as a social aspect, um, but it's also a really easy place to share ideas and frustrations about what's going on at work. That um, Young workers should get involved in their union because it's important. We can have a real voice and we can make this union what we want it to be. I mean, you pay the dues whether you get involved or not, so you might as well use your voice and put those dues towards things you care about. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, young workers need to get involved because uh, you're going to be, uh, even on the most basic level, paying dues in this union for the next 10, 20, 30 years, whatever you end up staying on, even sometimes 40 years. Why not see the direction of these dues and shape the organization that benefits you? I'd also remind them that they're paying union dues. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it's, it's your responsibility to be engaged and involved. When I see a young worker who is wondering whether or not he should get involved, I usually ask him about high school. What do you do in high school? Because I find a lot of young people nowadays have either done leadership classes or have done volunteering, and then I bring it back around and said, hey, did you know through the union we actually get chances for not only education, but we get to do things like leadership. So we're not in high school anymore, there is no leadership class, but we have the next best thing, which is the union. I feel it has. Um, within my own workplace, uh, people come to me, uh, and from all age groups, uh, when they've got a union-related concern, or something they just wanted to, to chat about. I do a lot of the orientations now. Uh, when I went to the first component meeting, uh, I kind of sat on the sideline. I didn't really know the flow of things. Um, I was very uncomfortable talking and just over a matter of time and getting involved by uh, some of my more veteran colleagues that within the union uh, who prompted me to start talking, I immediately I kind of got my wings. And once you had those, uh, there's no telling kind of where you can go. And I've only been doing this for about three or four years now. A lot of public speaking in my position which I then carry over to the office and it's, it's made it a lot easier for me to connect with members, to meet people for coffee, to be a more welcome and opening um, vice president in my local or just in the steward sense, be more approachable for people to come to me with their issues and grievances. So it's definitely been a huge compliment to my job um, and my position within my local to be a part of the Young Workers Movement. Yeah. Being the vice president of the local, people come to me uh, for advice or if they have an issue. Um, I'm also involved with the Health and Safety, um, Occupational Health and Safety Committee in my building. So union members will approach me with some, some concerns and I'll actually be able to represent them even at the Health and Safety Committee as well. So um, now people know I'm a resource and uh, that's a good position to be in. The importance of what I do with the union as an activist for me is making sure my workplace is the best workplace that it can be, making sure my coworkers and I understand our rights and that our employer is respecting our rights and that it's a good place to be because you spend a lot of time at work. It should be, should be a respectful and safe environment and I feel like um, by being involved in the union and raising a profile with my coworkers, I'm helping them understand their rights 
and helping everyone have a better workplace. You know what, um, to, to everyone who is thinking about getting involved or unsure if they're good enough to be here or if they know enough to be here, just, just come. Just participate because, you know, everyone is so willing to, to teach you and to motivate you and so if you even have that, that ounce of, of desire, just do it. I think I'd, if I had any advice for other members, especially young workers, um, just to take advantage of the resources that are offered by the union um, and to be at the forefront of change. It's coming. <laughs> Get involved.